one of the realest moments I've ever seen on television. Mm. Much less that TV show. I know what you're talking about. You already know where I'm going with Snoop. This. Yep. What you mean? That was one of the realest Snoop. moments. And this is what's real about it. Is that Snoop was communicating with you. And I, you know, well, Snoop was communicating with you in a language that is unique to Los Angeles. Yep. And he was pressuring, pressuring you and he was testing you. And you knew it and he knew it. And people who knew what, but y'all didn't explain it. Mm -hmm. Nope. The show didn't take time to explain it. So on this show, I would like you to take time to explain in that moment what was happening and what you was thinking when Snoop was like, but where are you from No. All right, let me start off by saying, I know I'm not explaining this for you. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> We're going to explain it for right. the for cameras. The That's right. You, because you, you know what that was. I you know exactly yeah. what One, that was. Let's, let's start by saying Snoop didn't ask everybody that. Mm -hmm. He asked you when you he said you were from me. Inglewood. He asked, but I think, I think before I said I was from Inglewood, I think he already wanted to ask. Right. And I think it speaks to the energy. And again, to use your word, the authenticity behind mm -hmm. what I presented mm -hmm. in my art, in my performance. Right. So Snoop, uh, he didn't ask anybody else, which means he was moved in a different way, mm -hmm. which means in his world, he's familiar with that energy coming from that place. It's like that question I asked you about the pro-blackness. That you move in a way where people would think, "Oh, this is just a street nigga," mm -hmm. period, and they not they not seeing all the other stuff that comes with you. Absolutely, yeah. And and so, um, I think I'm an intersection of all that shit in the mm -hmm. same box, like church, mm -hmm. street, uh, music, art. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Fighting. You know. Mm -hmm. So, but I think Snoop saw that. And I think it was a line. I didn't mean to look at Snoop. <laughs> I said, I, I, I didn't mean to look at Snoop, but I think I looked at him when I was like, if you don't like it, then fight me. Go meet the hill of my Nikes. You know what right. I'm saying? And and so I think part of it could have been like, okay, he, 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 up there, he got that energy. Right. And he said that. He I don't did know you like that, this too. He didn't. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that, that part made the cut, but um, he said, you got, I could tell you got that energy. Yeah, he said, and that's a yeah. The way he, he said. set it up, he had already paid me the compliments before, and mm -hmm. I think people forget that. Mm -hmm. He had said, obviously, what you're doing is diverse. Mm -hmm. It's real. It's I love what you're doing, but let me ask you something. Right. So the the setup is already like, despite how you feel about how I'm pressing you, you know, you know, it's like I see what you're doing and I mm -hmm. respect it. Let's just get this little formality out the yeah. way. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's a L.A. thing. And it's not, and I'm not foreign to it. And and the thing about it is the reason I could stand up and without budging being like I'm from Inglewood is because there were real life threatening moments where that was the case. This was not life threatening. This is television. This is television. Mm -hmm. And not that and and but Snoop got that energy where it's like cameras didn't disappear now. That's the OG. It's two, <laughs> it's two men in the room. Yeah. That, and that's the magic of being somebody like the legend that is Snoop Dogg. Me and Snoop shot a video yesterday. Snoop has this 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 way of erasing the extra and bringing everybody home. And for in that moment, home was L.A. In the video, Snoop is in the middle of Inglewood, the biggest crip in the game, showing love and the blood's coming out. Man, Uncle Snoop, Uncle you know what Snoop. I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The bloods who told us like you're not gonna have no problem on this block today. Mm -hmm. You know they walking up to Snoop like. And he giving them game, chopping it up. Some nephew, Snoop brought the, the taco truck out uh. and told no, and told everybody, don't pull out no money. This is good already. Everything they got in there is y'all's. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that's just the the duty is. And 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 I didn't. I knew when he was asking that it wasn't it wasn't me impressing me. It was more like, go ahead, tell him what's up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And 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 so. It was just, I think it would, I agree with you. I haven't seen no moment like that on television. Yeah. Not, especially unscripted. Mm -hmm. We yeah. create them and and we put them together sometimes brilliantly, like straight out of Compton is scripted. Yeah. But then they did such a good job of casting to where it's like, yeah. you don't lose none of that authentic energy. That's right. But unscripted, nothing has like happened like that unscripted. Yeah. And, and I appreciate that because everybody knows that it's like, you know, I, I even paused for a second to decide how I was going to answer. I see, I see all that. You I can see all that. Because I could have been like, 
with my brother from here mm. and I grew up right over here and they got my back. But it's like you ask me the same question. So you gonna get the same answer. And that's man shit to me. Like I'm not switching unless you switch. If you say, OK, what block, though? Manchester and Fifth Ave. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Park Circle. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Who who, you know? All the bros over here, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? But he didn't switch the question, so I didn't switch the answer. And then his immediate response was, respect, cuz. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, you stood your ground. And it's been that ever since. Because somebody at his level, you got to test that part of a man before you decide to fool with him. Ever since, I can't say I have any bigger ally in the game. That's Snoop. That's Snoop. So is your heart, like, beating out of your chest when that happened, or you were just, like, chilling? I was chilling. chilling. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Because first off, I finished my performance. So the Mm -hmm. hard part is out the way. My thing is, it's so much going on. The nerves that did kick in, and I'll be honest, the nerves that kicked in happened because it's like, this is fresh material to a beat that I didn't choose. And it's a lot going on. This is not my crowd. This is a television set. So the nerves have more to do with don't forget your words, Smoke. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's all fresh material. And so once that's out the way, I'm like, we chilling. Right. I got this from here. Got it. Got you it good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Got it until the next challenge. That's right. So I, my heart wasn't beating out of my chest in that moment. That's why we smiled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He knew, he knew there was more to it. And we've had extensive conversations mm-hmm. since then. He knew there was more to it too. That's why I didn't even say I don't bang. It's so much I could have said. You just said I'm from Inglewood. I'm That's from it. Inglewood. Right. You fill in the blanks. There's a question, there's an answer. You fill in the blanks. Mm-hmm. And and I promise you, the, the love has been ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Shout and, out and to Snoop, man. Uh, a name well learned, Uncle Snoop. And he's been Uncle Snoop to more than me. That's right. You to know? me too. To me too. Snoop has jumped on records for me. Snoop, with the, but the blast blew up in LA because Snoop was had a show on the beat and it was playing the blast. You know what I'm saying? Like Snoop has, Snoop got, had me on BET with him freestyle. Like Snoop has been, had created tent poles in my career. He do it for everybody. For everybody. I'm, I'm an underground rapper from Brooklyn. It don't matter. It's the same shit with Snoop. Same that's shit. Hard, but word up. Yeah, that's uh, a real moment. Uh, <laughs> 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 what would 